Who's the real role model to, the, to your child? Me on a computer screen living my life or you in the same household with that child? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Let's get that understood. You don't have to know how to pray in order to pray. All you got to do is talk to God. Because at the end of the day, just because you don't know how to communicate what you're saying to him does not mean that God does not know your heart and what, you tr what your true intentions are. He is God. He is capable. You are capable. Every Everything that I need, every marketing strategy, he had me doing this every single day. He had me researching videos every single day, taking the information. He still has me doing this now. I want the money. I'm cool on the sex. Don't send me no text. You and your feelings. Quit crying on Twitter. I leave it on red. You know they be bitter. Man, cause I'm bigger, put me in your thread. Hey y'all, so I just want to say that I'm so excited because I feel like I just uncovered like the secret code to filming in my room. Because one reason I don't film in here is because the lighting is horrible. But so what I did was I took my phone and I got it propped up on the windowsill and I'm facing the window. So behind me is trees and stuff. I literally see outside while I'm talking to y'all. I don't even know what video I'm going to film. Just know I'm happy because I'm going to be shooting these shits out back to back. Okay? And we're just going to see where it goes. But so we just finna do a mini like life update Q and A. So if you don't know, my name is T Lux Dosage. Well, formerly known as T Lux Dosage. I think I'm gonna drop the T Lux. Let me know if y'all f with it or not. Like I told one of my closest friends, and he about had a heart attack because he's like T Lux is you though. Like it's you. But I'm like I just rather be Dosage. I mean, people can still call me T Lux Dosage, but I don't know. I'm gonna make this video like quick, simple. I'm not gonna be rambling because my friend want me to take her to her car, so yeah. Um, but basically, I'm T Lux Dosage, also known as Big Dosage, the Entrepreneur, T the Motherfucking Trapper, whatever the fuck you wanna call me. Okay, I am 24 years old. I am a graduating senior at St. Augustine's University. I wish I could say that proudly, but if you know, you know. My school has a lot going on. Google it, bitch, and you'll see. My major is criminal justice. So May of this year, I'll have my bachelor's in criminal justice. Ain't that exciting? Yes. Fun fact about me, I'm a Capricorn. My birthday was three weeks ago, December 28th. I am 24 years old. I think I already told y'all that. So we're just going to bypass that. Um, I love dogs. I love animals. Well, let me backtrack because I'm not a bugs type of bitch. And I don't like snakes. I don't like caterpillars. I don't like worms. I don't like, like, I've had, I've had cats before, like when I was in elementary school, like my dad came home with a cat and that was just our cat. But I've had dogs my whole life, so I'm a dog's girl. I'm a dog's girl. Kittens are cute, cats are cute, but do I want a cat? I don't know. Um, But I'm a dog's girl, okay? I have one, he's with my grandmother. Um, He was with me once upon a time when I was staying in my apartments, but yeah. I reside on my campus. Previously, um, before I was, before I resided, before I began my journey of residing on campus, I had my own apartment for two plus years um, in two different cities. So I've done the adulting thing. Like I'm doing the adulting thing. I still have big bills, bitch. Like they be kicking my ass. They be like, hey. I be like, I mean, I ain't gonna back down from nothing, okay? If my life since 2018 ain't taught me nothing, it's taught me to persevere and practice resilience and it's crazy for me to say that because i'll be buckling down to a lot of stuff i'll be going through depression and anxiety wise but baby i'm still here so what does that have to say i ain't letting this shit get me but um so update on like i done told y'all to update on school like where you get up out of here like i am but i'm not like a, like it's a bittersweet journey or whatever and I like the freedom that college gives me. And I'm not talking about freedom like I'm not a fucking adult. Like 24, I've had freedom for years. I'm talking about the freedom that college gives me outside of other adult responsibilities I once had. I don't have to worry about some of that stuff anymore. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But I would say it's like it is like a breath of fresh air but my school makes it harder for it to be a breath of fresh air for us because it's a lot of stuff going on here like i said if you know you know google it bitch like i ain't saying that shit for no reason like i make the best out of my situations like i try to i pray i cry i talk to who i need to talk to friends family um i don't talk to no counselors like 
I'm not saying it like it's an issue. I will talk to a therapist or whoever. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I do need to make a prior make it a priority. But outside of that, I talk to God. He's got me through everything. So I'm gonna always lean on him if I don't lean on anybody else, including myself. I'm always leaning on him. Because that's what he wants us to do. And when he talk, you gotta listen, okay? So if life hasn't taught me anything in the last few years, even whenever I'm not practicing perseverance and resilience, it still taught me to persevere and be resilient, okay? And that's just what I've been doing. Like last year was probably my toughest years ever. And it's like, I hate to say that because I'm not saying it trying to fall into a cloud of what everybody else is fucking saying. But what I realized is that we all go through the same things kind of like together. Like one person might be going through a heartbreak over here and they just in their own world going through that. But this person is over here going through the same damn heartbreak situation and it's crazy or whatever. Like you're alone, you're above, you're alone, you're above, but literally y'all know y'all are going through the same situation. Y'all just two totally different people and in two different parts of the world and et cetera. So it's like at the end of the day, 2023 was a hard year for a lot of us, but I'm not saying this to try to fit in with what the next bitch is saying. That was really a hard year for me. Like, I was ducked off majority of the year. I didn't put out a lot of content majority of the year. Um, I slacked in a lot of my avenues majority of the year. And there was a reason for that because I was going through shit. And I had to focus on this up here. Because if this ain't right, nothing else is going to be right. And when I'm in that mode where I'm not right, I can't fake the funk and not saying like I'm going to ever try to fake the funk or whatever or that if I could I would if I could I still wouldn't fake the funk if I can't be all the way present in something that I want to do or don't whatever it is because sometimes we have to do shit we don't want to do like I don't want to do fucking homework but I have to so regardless of how long it takes me if it's late or not I'm going to do the homework with most of it <laughs> some assignments i have not done in general but yeah that's the past we talking about the present um like i'm just honest one thing i won't do is get up here and lie if i don't want to answer it or if i don't have anything to say to it, i'm gonna keep my mouth shut but for the most part if it needs to be said and acknowledged it's gonna be said i'm a very transparent person when it needs when it a situation that calls for transparency because I don't have to get up here and tell anybody anything about me. I'm a grown ass woman. My business is my business. So if I ever get up here saying something to y'all, it's because I felt compelled to do so from God. He told me to pass this message along and that's what I'm doing because words are healing people's previous situations. Like people go through stuff so that the next person won't have to. And so when it's a situation like that, I'm going to speak. But if it ain't none of y'all business, if I don't feel compelled to do so from God, if anything, I'm not, I'm not, like, get up here and tell y'all my business. Like, especially if people ask me, because y'all know how y'all are with these celebrities. Y'all get one little piece of thing and y'all run with it. Like, she in a relationship with him, you'll never hear the end of that relationship. Even that relationship is over and that person is married with kids for 10 plus years to the next person. The relationship that you were in 10 years prior when you had no kids and no connection to this person, they are still gonna talk about that person. And y'all don't let shit go, like y'all don't let shit ride. So get up here and just tell y'all shit for the fun of it. Hell nah, hell nah. Just because I don't have nothing to hide don't mean that I'm just gonna be willy nilly with it. But, um. So what else we got to talk about? Like, I'm starting a new business. Um, it's actually been something I've been wanting to do since I was, like, 17 years old, on and off. And I've always, like, put it off or whatever. Like, I've even bought products for it years ago. Like, I'm talking 2020 when I was in my apartment. I bought the products for it. And I was going to start the business. And I strayed away from it. And I had my reasons. And the reasons made sense. I was like, I'd rather be in the digital world and be able to access everyone than be in a service world and only be able to access people locally. But it's like, no matter how far I straight away from this business idea, I've always ended up back here. And God, like I said, I talked to him. Like, I'm not just saying this just because like, my relationship with him has grown so much in the last year. 
and I pay attention to everything. Like he, he will talk to you when you learn how to talk to him. And I'm not standing like it's a battery because we don't have to know how to talk to him to talk to him. Let's get that understood. You don't have to know how to pray in order to pray. All you got to do is talk to God. Because at the end of the day, just because you don't know how to communicate what you're saying to him does not mean that God does not know your heart and what, you tr what your true intentions are. He is God. He is capable. You are capable. Even still, I've had a relationship with God my whole life. Like, I've been heavily into him my whole life. And there's stuff people don't even know about, about me and God that I don't even have to get into to prove a point. I'm just saying I've been in a relationship with him and it's been getting stronger over years and years and years. But in this last year alone... We're like this. Like, I, I talk to him every single day, any time of the day. Whenever I feel compelled to turn the music off, turn the TV off, put the phone down, bow my head and pray, that's what I do. He sent me that message, and he made it very clear for me. It's crazy because I get to these points where I feel like, what am I doing? Like, I'm in college, but what am I doing? Because I don't even plan on using my degree as of right now. It's going to be used later on down the line. Like, that's always been clear to me with my degrees that it, I want to use it later on down the line. But as of right now, what am I doing? I'm in school for this degree and I'm not going to use it till later. So what am I doing? Like, what's going to be my current after I graduate up until the years from now when that degree is going to be put to use? What am I doing? And so I've always, and even before I went back to school, because I did take a gap year. So I've been in school consecutively um, since 2018 with one year off. Um, so during this journey from 2018 to now, I've always had these moments where I felt like what I know what I'm passionate about, but there's some things that I'm passionate about and that I'm very gifted in that I'm not ready to share with the world. And like, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. Okay. I don't know if that'll ever be spoken of to y'all, like the people who matter, the people, and I'm not saying they're like a snobby way. So let me take that take that step back the people who are closest to me or whatever who I've built that type of relationship with they know these things and they might ponder on their brain now what is she talking about if they watching this video but if you know me you know okay just know you know because I've been very vocal about it but I don't do it because I don't I haven't acted on it because I'm so shy like that part of me I hold near and dear to my heart and I don't want people to have access to it because if you have any type of negative criticism and I'm not even saying like negative criticism because negative criticism if it's constructive criticism it can be taken but people don't know how to give constructive criticism they just know how to be negative and that's what I won't be able to handle because remember what Erica Badu said she said I want y'all to um, keep in mind I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit that's what I'm talking about I will go to war about my shit, okay? Period. Like, I will go to war about anything pertaining to me, my family, my friends, my passions, anything I create, anything that comes from here, anything having to do with here in general, I will go to war about. So when it comes to that right there, I gotta be ready 100%, and I'm not ready 100% yet. I've always wondered, like, what is it that I'm on this earth to do? Like, I know that I want to lead i don't want to say lead others because i'm nobody's role model yes some of the things i'm doing i'm going to be leading by an example people are going to look up to me by default that's okay i love that but at the end of the day just because i'm doing something does not mean that you have to do it good or bad just because you see me drinking a bottle if you see me drinking a bottle because i barely drink um just because you see me doing that does not mean that you can do it especially if you're 14 years old you mean something because your 14 year old child is watching me drink a bottle I'm the bad role model because they want to go drink one. When you sitting around all day drinking a bottle in front of them, who's the real role model to, the, to your child? Me on a computer screen living my life or you in the same household with that child? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Okay? Woo, child. And my friend want me to take her to her car. I can barely walk. <laughs> um, but I'm going to do it. Love her. Okay, period. Um... I know that I want to be like an advocate for stuff that I've been through and spilling like leap like be a, someone who gives words of encouragement, someone who spreads joy and positivity and confidence, someone who like advocates for self-love, solo dates, doing what the fuck makes you happy. 
putting you first in situations you need to be put first in, holding you accountable and growing, but also in the same sense, not being selfish. You can put you first without being selfish, okay? Being a good person and attracting good. Yes, we are good people and we sometimes are dealt bad, hand, dealt bad hands and wrong is done unto us. But at the end of the day, if you are doing wrong, you will always attract wrong. Yes, you can do good and still have wrong done unto you. Yes, it happens. It's unfortunate, but it happens. But the only thing that you can do to attract good unto you is to do good yourself. Okay? Good attracts good. Bad attracts bad. Good can still bring some bad. Okay? But if you don't want constant bad shit brought onto you, don't do bad yourself. Yes, you can do bad all by yourself. I understand. But do you like it when bad is done unto you by others? No. So look in the mirror. Fix what's in here first. And then come talk to me. Okay? But God told me that this business is my business. <laughs> He brought this business to me, and like I said, several times since I was 17 years old. I'm 24 years old now. So that means for seven years now, he's been talking to me about this business on and off. And he brought it back to my line of view last summer, and I forgot about it after the semester started. But he brought it back to me again this past either November or December of 2023. And here it is, January. He gave me a whole plan. He had me up 12, 1, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning every day writing out my whole plan from this to this to this to this to this. Like six-year plan, how much money I'm going to make in this business, all the people that I'm going to transform in this business, every product that I need, every video idea that I need, every everything that I need, every marketing strategy. He had me doing this every single day. He had me researching videos every single day taking the information he still has me doing this now hey trap house so this is part one of this video part two will be up next so join the trap house so that you don't miss it thank you for watching this video and i will see y'all in the next one